All right. Uh, so we're back. Uh, I haven't posted anything in a few days just because, like, I don't know. It's Normally, I'll sit here and I'll tell you guys 100%. I don't really have a reason. Like, oh, I'm not sure why I haven't posted anything. I just haven't. Uh, but lately, it's been more because, for one, I've been playing Genshin, and I kind of want to do Gen Genshin stuff, but um, that's more annoying to have to capture PS4 footage and then deal with that and process it and make sure I'm capturing it correctly and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's not really the primary reason. That's more like a reason. Uh, but the main reason is just that I'm getting kind of like, I don't know, not burned out necessarily because I'm not like, I've never been that hardcore into Epic 7 where like I can get burnout. Um, <laughs> but I am kind of like just getting a little bored of the game, right? Like, and I think a lot of people can see. I f it feels like this year more than any other year we've lost a lot of a lot of um, Epic Seven players, um, and for one, I mean it's been like there's a lot of games coming out all the time, and there's a lot of stuff happening. But in general, just this year seems to have been more rough for like you know Epic Seven stuff in general. So this video is more like um, kind of the state of Epic Seven. It's it's fifty fifty. I'm probably gonna go in and start doing some extra stuff, like so you're not just sitting here watching <laughs> um, my lobby characters standing around doing nothing, but. It's also kind of just addressing like where I'm at, uh, where the game I feel is at, and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but something I, I thought was kind of interesting was, like, it, it's not indicative of, of where Epic Seven is right now. But what I found kind of interesting was they had that ho they have they're having that like content creator tournament thing. I'm not sure what that is. I thought it was an invitational. It might be, I might be misunderstanding what it is, and it might be like we're inviting small people in to win and maybe get more attention to grow a channel or something like that. But I figured it was going to be like, oh, we're going to get some, you know, decent Epic 7, like, content creators in here and, you know, basically advertise for our game. Uh, but then, I, like, I saw who was in there and, like, I didn't, nobody knows any of those people. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of weird. I was like, there's nobody, like, there's, de there's definitely lots of people. Now, granted, you know, I'm more used to the American ones, American content creators for this game. So, there's probably a reason I don't really know those people. They they're all seem, a lot of them seem Korean or just not... You know, just gen just generic American like me, or like Mango, or um, Doctor Squirrel, or you know, Warbolt, or whoever, right? So that could be a reason, but you know, it just seemed a little weird because I'd never heard of like any of these people. Um, but you know, so that, like I said, I might be misunderstanding what that point of that tournament was, or maybe they're just that big that like they're huge and wherever they are, they're actually huge, but here they're just not. So maybe it's sort of a racial thing, <laughs> like they're not American, so we don't really know much about them. Um, but again, that so that stuff aside, uh, that that tournament was like I'm not sure who's gonna watch that. Who cares on this side? Like to me, it just seemed kind of interesting that they got a bunch of like no name almost people. Um, and then on top of that, like you can see there's a lot of people leaving this game in general, right? Like, for one, like Mango is never dedicated to this game, but like he doesn't make as much content. Um, if you look at Doctor Squirrel stuff, he still makes probably you know he makes a video on this game every so often, right? Like his schedule for this. For release on this on this game hasn't slowed down or stopped, so I'm not. That's not what I'm saying, but uh, he, he's wanting to branch out and do other stuff. So and I think when that other stuff takes off, we'll see a departure. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Um, that uh, shuffles right. Five finger shuffles is he made a video on Dislight, and while he and I might like yeah I don't know I might do a comparison. I don't. I'm not playing Dislight, but just from his video, there's a lot of things that I kind of want to point out why Epic Seven does things why Dislike does certain things, and Dislike compared to other games I've played that are like Dislike. Because I've played... Dislike, to me, reminds me of Crossing Void in terms of their structure and why it looks appealing. Um, but I can kind of talk about why, you know... Well, do I think it'll fail? Maybe, I don't know, right? But why I think it's more fatty than it is. But we'll, we'll see how we'll see how Dislike turns out. But anyway, the point being is that we're, we're, you know, people are kind of going everywhere and like the content's kind of slowing down and like just, it feels like that, for, you know someone who does consume a lot of Epic 7 content on a regular basis. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, from my angle, like, again, the collabs we're getting, they come back and we don't get any extra new characters. Like, it's just strange because the first time, let's take let's take this collab, for example, right? Well, that's the, that's the adventure thing. Actually, let's go do some summons while I'm talking. But... This this collab came back, so we got Rem and Amelia, and then Ram is obviously a free unit we're getting, you know, just in time. Um, it's a bit strange that after a year, this came back and no one decided to put in 
any extra effort to to bring in one extra character. You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> they spent time programming and designing and developing three units, and then when it comes back around, you can go, okay, let's just design. Let's just like cut that effort in half. Not even in half. You, you already have the entire side story, like... Oh, is it over already? I don't remember. Oh, it's already over. I didn't I didn't farm any of this. Watch. This is, how, this is how lazy I've been. I got none of this. None of this gear, none of this stuff. Um, and that's not necessarily its fault. It's just that, like, I've been wanting to do other stuff other than play Epic 7. And uh, the minimal amount of effort I put into Epic 7 already on a, on a weekly basis is even less than normal. But anyway, like, th this side story has already been written and plotted out and all that stuff. And all this stuff has already been set up. So they're only putting in, like, you know, 10% of that effort to make one new character. And they can't even do that to get the hype for this. Because then you get the new character comes out and they get everybody hyped for all these other characters. And then, like, it brings up the other ones and you get people spending in general, you know. But yeah, I don't know. It, it just seems strange to me. Like, Epic 7... I don't know. It just feels like they're kind of coasting by doing the minimum. Um, which kind of worries, you know, well, it doesn't worry me necessarily because if Epic 7 dies tomorrow, I'm not going to be sad. I'm not going to be like, oh, no, what am I going to play? I don't have Epic 7 anymore. Um, and it's like Epic 7 has never been that where it's like, oh, no, this is, I, I hope this game never dies. Like, I've, I'm kind of like, what's the word? <clears throat> I don't really know what the word is. Kind of nihilistic. I get to be kind of, I tend to be kind of nihilistic with games like this in general, like, to me, I know it's kind of, um, what's the word, like, sad almost, or strange, but, like, if Epic, like, I kind of, I'm always rooting for a game's death. Like, I'm always waiting for a game to die out, personally. Um, yeah, so, like, I've been just, like, waiting for Epic 7 to die for a while. Not, not, not wanting it to, don't get me wrong, I'm not here trying to encourage the death of Epic 7, and, you know, me making content doesn't necessarily, I'm throwing a little rock into the pond for, you know, hopping to make the wave, but, you know. Making content is what helps, you know, perpetuate games and stuff. Uh, but like I said, my contribution to that is very minimal considering, you know, uh, the size of my channel. But the point being that, like I said, while I wait for things to die and I assume that, like, you know, I, I assume all things are just going to die out eventually. Uh, Epic 7 is no different. A lot of people, they heard that 10-year plan and they, they felt they were excited. They were like, I can't believe I get to play this game for 10 years. I heard that whole, like, 10-year plan line and I was like, I've... I doubt it. Like, <laughs> you'll be lucky if you make it for ten years. Um, if not, you'll just be like, like Summoner's War, where it's like, who plays Summoner's War? Who hate? Who's like? Who knows what that is? Like, nobody knows what Summoner's War is. Nobody knows what Epic Seven really is very much more than Summoner's War, right? Uh, but the thing is, like these games, like they can, they can go, they can live for ten years, sure, but they can like drag on for ten years, right? Like some decaying corpse, like zombie. <clears throat> but anyway, the point being that yeah, that's kind of like. Taking a look at all this stuff with uh, Epic 7 has been kind of interesting to see. Um, granted, this is just my perspective, and it doesn't mean it's necessarily true. I'm not subscribed to that many um, Epic 7 players. What's that guy? I think YD, YD. Like, if you're subscribed to that guy, uh, that guy pumps out so much, uh, I don't know, what's the word? Like, positive propaganda that, like, I'm sure that if you're if you only subscribe to him from that angle, then, you know... That game is never going to die, and it's always going to be hype, and it's always going to be whatever, right? But, like, a lot of the more, like, serious YouTubers that I, had, that I had sort of subscribed to for Epic 7 have kind of, like, you can kind of see the steam slowing down a little bit or, like, the interest kind of moving on to other things, and that's kind of, that's natural. Like, for anybody out there who feels like maybe Epic 7's, like, not boring necessarily, but you're kind of, like, not as into it as you were, I mean, there's nothing wrong with just leaving, right? Like, half the reason I made these, started making these videos is to get more, like, interested in the game, and it did help for a while, like, you know. I had stuff to present, but, like, now as the game's going on, like, uh, it just feels like there's not a whole lot going anywhere. <clears throat> but I don't know. Like I said, we'll, we'll see how it goes tomorrow or later today. I'm going to do some RTA. Um, like I said, I keep missing Guild Wars and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, so probably going to do an RTA video or something like that just to, like, because, for one, we're running out of days for the RTA season, so I want to get into the, you know, I want to get whatever skin we're, we're supposed to get. I'm not sure yet what that skin was. Um, I think it was, yeah, I don't remember who it was. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'll probably, I'll make some more content. Like I said, I'm not 100% like done with this game. Like I said, I'm not burned out or anything. It's just that uh, I've just been less motivated to play it. And, and sometimes that comes in, in in waves for people, right? Maybe one month, you just don't feel like playing this game. And that's all right. You can just take a month off. 
could do something else. Like you're not in. Remember, you play this game because it's fun. And if you log in one day and you're not having fun, don't worry about it. The game is not designed for like if you miss one day, you're suddenly behind everybody forever, right? Like that's not how the game. But the game would like you to think that. And it would like to pressure you to come in and sign in every single day and play. Now, if you buy that monthly pass, that's more pressure to sign in because you lost that day's whatever rewards or whatever. But even back then, when I had those monthly passes, I would like, nah, I just don't feel like logging in today and I just wouldn't play that whole day. So, yeah, just keep that in mind for a lot of you people out there. Just like, you don't have to play the game if you don't want to. Like, the game is here to serve you. You're not here to serve the game, right? Just keep that in mind at all times because uh, it's easy to forget. It's easy to forget that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, we'll do some summons here. I'll kind of keep talking about what's going on, like, um, in general. So the, the new patch came out. Obviously, we got um, Basar. His buffs came in, which, like I said, that was like the only interesting one that I wanted to check out because the more and more I play... Ooh, that's bad, which means I'm going to have to... Um, what did I... Oh, no, wait. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I was going to have to get rid of some... Some guys right now. Um, let's take a look at what's here. Uh, Lulica. So these are, um, if anybody wants to know about this rotation. Um, Dark Corvus. I feel like he's going to get a buff at some point, but um, it's hard to buff him. And if they do buff him, he's they're not going to buff him to be too strong because he's already one of the strongest units in the game. People just like complaining about him because he's very slow and he's boring, right? Um, so it's hard to buff someone like that. It's hard to do something with, like, you can guarantee a win... Uh, but it's going to be boring, right? And it's hard to, like, buff someone like that. Um, in PvP, you're going to lose a lot with him, though, because, you know, he's just not very PvP strong, so keep that in mind. Um, Last Rider Crow has kind of fallen off, like I said. Uh, he, he just needs a buff. I think if they buff him, real, just like one small buff, have him cleanse before he puts up the immunity, he'll be solid, but otherwise it's not, you know. You're going to lose out to... He's, he's, he's going to remain in the same position he is now. Uh, and then again, Tamala Lulika, good for extinction, and that's basically it. But we all kind of have. She she doesn't do anything that you can't just put that same gear onto. Um, what's her name? Milam, and Milam basically does the same thing. Um, now, granted, she has this that gives everyone attack buff and all that stuff, so keep that in mind. Uh, but if you want a, a discount top model Lulika, just take Lilith or build Lilim or whatever. And then if you have her, then obviously probably top model Lulika is going to be better. Just because she's an ML five star over you know the other one, but yeah, so don't be too bad. Don't be too uh, hasty to summon for uh, any of these. Basically, is my my suggestion. Um, Vivian is probably gonna come out with like a team wide extinction or something like that. Uh, who's in the Who's in the rotation here? Uh, this This all sucks. Um, what's next? Kron and Doctor's Bag. Eh. This is kind of the other thing of, like, when you're this far into the game, like, you basically have everything you need and nothing you don't, right? And and then it really takes, like, serious buffs or something to change a unit to a point where you're like, oh, I want to try that out. Um, what, hey, we don't have any of this. No, yeah, we don't have any of that. Uh, so we have this. See, like I said, this got renewed, so this is going to end on the 20th of next month. Um, and I got to keep my coins, so I'm going to get whoever. Now, this is why I wanted to come here and do this, because now I wanted to pick. I want to see what we can pick out of here, but let's go. Do not display duplicates. So, see, here's the problem. Kiwana's the only one I don't have, so I'm just going to leave her, I guess. So if I leave, what does this mean? Yeah, I don't know. Um, we can come over here. Let's not put duplicates. Yeah, again, so this is here, but I don't get to choose. Um, yeah, it doesn't let me choose, what's her name? ML Shermia, which was, again, that's the only unit I really care about. Um, I already kind of went over this the first time we chose, but I guess I can go through my selection, what I'm going to choose. So like I said, I took out all the duplicates. So these are the ones I'm missing. Judge Kise, I don't really care about him. I'm not a cleaver. Again, I just talked about Dark Corvus. He's pretty good, but he's also boring, and the game is already, like I said, I'm already kind of like getting another boring unit isn't going to help very much, considering, you know, whatever. Um, Faithless Lytica is pretty good, but she's not the fastest, I think. What's her stats? I can't remember what her stats were. Yeah, it doesn't let me. Well, let me see. Um, 
but yeah, she, again, she's an opener, and I don't really have as much gear to go with her to help her, like, you know, to capitalize on taking first turn as I could. Um, if anything, I'm probably going to go with a Tywin, just because um, I think he's going to get a buff. He should get a buff, personally, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to go with a Tywin for this. Um, Remnant Violent, Remnant Violent, Violet isn't too bad a choice. Uh, he does have, like, insane one-shot capabilities for the dark element. I don't have any dark one-shotters. I have LQC in terms of light one-shotters, but I don't have dark one-shotters. So I could take Remnant Violet, um, but I also just don't like Remnant Violet. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't like him, so I'm just not going <laughs> to pick him. I might not. I'm probably not going to pick him. Uh, Briar Witch Hyceria. Um, she's good against Dodgers and whatnot, uh, but she's just not, you know, she doesn't really do very much. She hits with this, and then it's like, okay, well, whatever. And then uh, this lets you hit people and gives you, like, immortality and gives you that uh, seaside specialty drink or whatever, the, the drink proc, Rangar specialty drink proc, built in, which isn't too bad. Uh, but otherwise, she, I don't know, she just kind of, like, doesn't do enough. Uh, Tamana Luluka, we just talked about her, and she's already on the thing, so don't put her in this. Operator Cigarette kind of died out. I'm not sure why, but she just, yeah, like, she was around for, like, a solid bit and she was around so much and I got traumatized by her so much that I switched all my everywhere MLCC was I switched her over to um, ML uh, Crim Crimson Armin right yeah Crimson Armin uh, just because of the anti-shield like destruction that she's gonna give you so that's that now of course we got DJ Basar and that's like you know double the reason um, Arch Demon Shadow. This, I hate this unit. Um, this is the most irritating unit I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, whenever, when, when you play against it, um, do I, it kind of, I'm kind of tempted to pull for her just because I want to, like, again, it, she looks like a lot of fun. Like, if you're annoying people that much, like, I kind of want to do that. But, I don't know. She's just, like, she's not that good. Like, if I'm being honest, like, she's only good against you. But when you're using her, she does not. She's not that good. Um, Solitaria of the Snow is very annoying. Um, she's kind of the opposite, so she's very annoying when you're you when you're using her. When you're using her on somebody and like it's it's effective, it's useful. Her, she's just annoying. Her, she's insanely useful because she's got stuns, and that's like dumb. Um, again, Mediator Cowric. Uh, I could put him on this, but yeah, he's he's kind of. I really don't care. Um, I know how strong he is and. Anyone should put him. So basically, your your power couple is right here. Uh, pick these two and then just pull until you get them. Because these are going to be meta dominant here. Um, Closer Charles, nobody cares. Like, yeah, nobody cares. Um, Spirit Eye Selene is decent sometimes. She really needs a team built around her. And it's just conditionally strange how, like, interactions work out with her. Sometimes she's, like, the most irritating unit in the game, constantly reviving everybody and, like, something you can do about it. Other times, she just kind of gets killed and that's it and it's just like okay well never mind then and of course we don't need to explain uh conquer lilius so so conquer lilius is here and i'm going with a tywin just because i think a tywin is pretty neat um but yeah so now i have a few of these uh you cannot proceed oh i have to i guess i have to choose a four star uh this is kind of dumb um can I just choose her again? Let's see what happens if I choose her twice. Oh, okay. It won't let me. Oh, actually, I know who to choose. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back to summoning. Oh, so I have to switch it over. Wait a minute. I am confused. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. So, I, like I said, I have enough for Kiwana, and it took me that long to get um, up to 120. So, I think in the next few... Uh, in the ne by, before this deadline, hopefully I can get another 80 summons, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, what are these... Maybe these rates will enlighten me here. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, okay, so that was that. Uh, what else did I have to summon here? I think that was it. Oh, I had this ticket... I'm going to go clear room because it's not going to let me get this, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to pull our little... Nope, that's the wrong one. Yeah, we have free equip events, so we can uh, we can do that. Uh, we got uh, Roman. Uh, 
uh, let's see. So yeah, let's go look at, uh, what was I looking at here? Oh, we're gonna look at, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm already where I need to be. Uh, where are you, DJ Basar lights? So DJ Basar is right here. Um, but yeah, so they basically gave him this. Um, skill enhance. Do we get all, do I get to recall all my molas? I do not. And this still is kind of fixed, I guess. Oh, no, it's not fixed. Yeah. It'd be nice if I got all my molas back. Um, at the very least. Given this change, like I said, I don't think this is a change that we should get a selector from, but given how people complain, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't give us anything back for this. Um, but I, you know, <laughs> I would at least have liked my molas back. Uh, but yeah, so this, this ability has been more interesting to me as I've been thinking about it, because I've been playing a lot of Arena, a lot of, obviously, Guild War and all that stuff. And shields have begun to get more and more irritating. Yeah, that's, that's a good way of putting it, because... If you take a look, right, let's take a look here. Let's go to the journal. All right, so the, let's go look at the uh, hero journal. Uh, I hate that it always starts here. Um, how do I do this? How do I fix this? There we go. Um, so if we look here at the five stars, so we go back to, uh, what's her name? Commander Lilius. She gives a shield on this S2, and this shield is annoying as hell. Like, I hate that shield. And she constantly cycles it up, always, you know, back and forth. Um, and again, this goes. This has to do with the RTA and, like, just PvP in general, right? Another thing that's irritating is this barrier is also insanely irritating, right? Like, I hate it. It's I just don't like dealing with it. Every time he, he keeps putting it up, and you're just sitting there chipping away at a stupid barrier. And Hua Yun also has built-in barriers, right? Every turn, she gets a new barrier. Um, and these are just a few examples. Again, I'm not going to go through every barrier example, but those are some of the few most meta-prevalent units, and they have, like, constant barriers. So this idea of being able to not only strip them easily, but also just invert that damage back onto them uh, is becoming more and more enticing to me. So uh, I think we're just going to gonna try to build out our, our DJ Basar here. Uh, I'm going to build him on full F-Res if I can. Uh, let's go look at his kit. Should we just go speed or F res? Let's let's try. Uh, he gets immunity for two turns. Uh, he, he takes a, he takes a lot of cycle. Combat readiness by thirty percent. Increasing the cooldown count decreases suffer critical hit. All right, so he gets more tankiness here. So we can kind of forego. This is actually a little better though, because not okay. So they 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 nerfed it by reducing one turn of immunity and then. Um, Right, reducing one turn of immunity, but they also reduce the turn by one one turn, which means that's that takes lo less time for his thirty percent um, damage reduction to come back into play. So I think that's pretty interesting. Um, again, this is <clears throat> this takes too long. I think this needed to be down to three turns, but uh, you know whatever. It's pretty annoying because they're basically just experimenting with him because we're gonna get another unit. I mean, I almost feel like Vivian at this point is gonna have some skill that does this more consistently, but I don't know. Um, so they're just experimenting with this, and because of that, DJ's getting nerfed. So I feel like this should have been three turns, but, you know, take that as you will. Uh, and then the stun, and then the he the health here. Uh, do we still get healing off of this? We do not get healing off of this. This used to not heal. Only this healed. And then this S2 got buffed a while back to make it so that this healed a little bit, and this healed. And now they took this away, and now this doesn't heal, and only this heals. This is very interesting. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do something someone did to me that pissed me off beyond uh, <laughs> beyond recognition. <coughs> I'm going to run a... Uh, take a look here. I'm going to run a, um, <laughs> a counter bazaar. Um, yeah, this is probably a dumb idea, so nobody, nobody, take, nobody do this, but... Oh, that's the wrong uh, thing. So nobody else do this, but uh, this looks like it'd be really funny. Uh, here we go. Oh, that's... Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. I probably shouldn't take that. Uh, I probably want some speed even on my counter Basar, but we can kind of... This is basically the best thing he can run. Like, it's got all stats just for him. But... Uh, I need that on her. I need the speed. 
Um, what is this healing scale off of? Target's max health and the caster's attack. So they still give him attack scaling, which uh, is pretty irritating. Uh, we got effect resistance here, but I'm not. I don't have any. Do I have? Well, I have. A, I have a green Basar, but I'd rather just hold on to him. This is gonna be a 40 minute long video just to gear him up. So yeah, uh, do what do I think you should run? I think you should run probably speed and a f and and resistance on him. Um, but uh, I'm here for the memes, and I'm just gonna run him on counter set because why not? Because here, here's the deal, right? So Basar has this, but this has never been effective on Basar. Like if Basar's cleanse into immunity was good. He would have been good the day he was released. And if you guys want to know the truth, Basar has never been good. Or DJ Basar has never been good. He's never been in the meta. He's just been, look, a unit. He does things. That was the full extent of his contribution to the meta. People were like, yeah, Basar is pretty good. He's got immunity and a cleanse. But nobody used him. You didn't know anybody who uses Basar. Like, don't act like Basar was ever good. So the point being that Basar's cleanse into immunity was never what made him strong. Like, in... It was the reason, it's, you know, that's all he did, and it's the reason he wasn't strong, because that ability wasn't that strong. Um, yeah, there's other, there, like, there's just better ways to deal with that whole cleansing issue. Um, so, like I said, like, even when he came out, and I know because I got him the day he came out, I think. When did I get him? I forgot what I was doing, and I forgot why I got him. I think I have the, the footage of me getting him. I think I was trying to get the four star, and I accidentally just pulled him, because I didn't, I didn't assume I would get him. And then I got him, so... But anyway, he's not really worth pulling for. Um, <clears throat> and he isn't... So basically the point is, he isn't... He isn't easy... Ugh, he isn't worth pulling for now. This immunity into... Cle cleanse to immunity takes so long for it to come back up that it's not worth it. Even if you build him on full speed, this is going to take forever to come back up again, right? So let's kind of leave that where it is. Let's, you know... Let's all agree that while this ability is nice... It's not worth, it's just not worth, like, it's not good enough. It's not good enough at what it does, which is both cleansing you of debuffs and keeping debuffs off you. It doesn't do that very well, okay? So we can kind of agree to that. Second of all, this does not heal enough HP to be a dedicated healer as well as stunning people, right? I think we can agree to that too. So the only thing that Basar is worth building for now is this ability because it looks interesting. We want to see how it works. Um... So, like I said, matter to just make him tanky and survive and do a little bit of healing and cleanse once because, I, like I said, he's going to cleanse once and even if you build him on speed, he's only going to cleanse once because he's just going to die. Like, there's really nothing you can do to make DJ Basar worth it. And I know because I've used him, like, tons of times and I've played people who used him and, for one, I've played against them and they're minimal. Like, they're, like, some of the most rarest encounters you're ever going to find, first of all. And second of all, uh, they're also... Oh, let's go see here. They're also just get jobbed. Like, you, you're not going to win. Like, you don't win. I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, I don't, if you use Basar, you're just not going to win. Like, DJ Basar, you're just not going to win. Like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Um, let's see. Okay, so we've got kind of a, a thing here. Should I still run speed? Is my question. Let's go to counter set. Do we have any speedy counter boots? Health, effectiveness. Uh, we got health there. What's this? Speed, health, uh, health. Attack, health. No, uh, you need that more. <clears throat> what is this? Health, effect resistance, speed, four. Oh, man, it's going to take a lot. to. We're going to have to change this gear all kinds. Let's go with HP here. Wow, that's 25% health. I'm, you're, I'm slapping that on. Attack, crit chance, defense. Health. Whose is this? Where did I get this from? Sometimes I just have gear and I don't know where it comes from. It's very it's very worrisome. His healing is no longer based on his health either. Which it used to be. Partially. Which means we can run defense stats on some of this, right? Yeah. What's this? Is this good? No. It's defensive. Uh, I could run this, I guess. <clears throat> what about this? Yeah, we're just going to give you that. Um, okay, so we can run... Let's go look over here again. What do we have here? Well, we have a defense boot. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, we can run him on defense because he doesn't heal based off his own health anymore. Or at all. Let's go back here. Let's just leave that on him. Let's take a look at this, right? So basically, yeah, Basar feels even more useless than he did before. <clears throat> Amount recovered increases proportional to the target's max health and the caster's attack. So basically, don't worry about... Again, okay, so you want health... If you want him to have health to be tanky, but you don't want to dedicate it all to health. So normally, if you, guy, if you want a person, like your healers, you want them to be tanky, just dump it all on health because it will also scale your health, your healing. But in this situation, uh, it doesn't. Let's go back to actually uh, the resistance set because we actually oh I forgot what I I should probably go back and look I didn't I didn't actually compare them I just figured it would be much harder to get a good counter set than a resistance set see these resistance pieces are pretty good that one sucks I don't know where that one came from this isn't too bad what's this eight five and four I'm gonna give them that just for the the stat. Uh, ceiling is so high on it. Um, defense, health, effect resistance, and crit damage. I don't need crit damage. What did I have on him? I guess I didn't have a, a resistance helmet on him already. <clears throat> We're just going to give him this. That looks good. I don't use Montmorency for anything anymore, sadly. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, there we go. That's pretty good. So now we can run. Let's go look at the necklace again. Okay. What do we have for defensive necklaces? Attack is pretty good. All the stats are pretty good. I'm you're you're taking that. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Everything else is too offensive. And boots, 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 boots. So I can run a defense boot. Well, do I want to run this specific defense boot? I mean, no one else is running it. I may as well. Why do I have a resistance attack boot? Oh my gosh, look at these stats. Ugh, look at these stats. Oh no, that's because these are unbuffed. Um, what do you guys think? Oh no, that's not good. That, that just leaves me with two of these sets. Uh, What did I have here before? 25% HP percentage. What do you have? Health. Yeah, this one's not as good. So the, I'm taking these two. Can I find a better counter? So we'll, we'll leave this attack boot on him just in case. Look at all these stats, though. Nah, this, this isn't very good. Never mind. Let's forget it. I didn't see that. Um, where are we looking here? Do you run a run attack on his boot? Probably not. Um, but it was like... I just saw that it was like, well, it looked pretty good, but it was not good. I'm going to run that on him. Defense with, with health, that's pretty good. Wow, look at these stats. Uh, where are we looking here? What does this look like? No. You really want effect resistance, and you want a counter set, so that one's perfect. The way it is. Uh, so we're not running speed, and unfortunately this is going to be... I don't think we're going to find a better chest either, so let's go look over here. Oh, look at that, we found a better chest. Uh, theoretically better chest. Theoretically. This is a gear score of 36, 42, 48. We'll pretend this is like a 6, I guess. If this is 48, this is 54. A gear score of anywhere from 54 to maybe 60 at most. Um, what's this counter set here? No. No. What is this? Okay, so I'm not going to go with this. Let's go with a counter set here. And that'll be it. So we don't have to worry about another resistance set. Granted, this one's kind of this one kind of sucks because I'm running uh, speed here and I don't want speed on him. But eh, whatever. Uh, let's get effect resistance in here. Where am I at? I'm only at 89, which obviously that sucks. But plus this will be better. This video is gonna be long for no reason. I kind of like this one. I can swap this crit chance over to um, over to uh, flat health or something. But let's go look at something else first, I guess. 
I like this one. Not not for him, but in general. I don't I didn't even know I had this. I don't know if I have some of this gear because I don't really... Well, this is a lot better. He scales better with flat. Though the flats in subs... So the flats in in main stats are, are good here, but they're not good in subs. So keep that in mind. Just because someone scales better with flats doesn't mean that the flat sub stats are better. Uh, effect resistance and critical hit damage again. So this, this is pretty decent. No, that's not good for him. This one is... This one's pretty fantastic here. I want that one. Flat health. I keep thinking to run him on... But you'll benefit more from um, percentage stuff like this. So, the effectiveness, I can take or leave. Health, 7. Yeah, the, the effectiveness, I could take it or leave it. But it's not bad, right? It's not bad. Down here, we could probably change this to, to crit chance or to effectiveness. And that'll be very useful. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll just go with that. This looks pretty good, I think. We're gonna we're gonna boost some gear in front of you guys' eyes. The thing the thing with counter set and this stuff, the reason I'm gonna boost it all right right now, even though it's like, oh, you gotta roll it to see, eh, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can just roll this, and no matter where it lands, you're basically beneficial. This is this is probably the only piece I use this as an example. This is probably the only piece I can't. But like this piece doesn't matter where it goes; it's good, as long as it's not low. But even if it's low, it's gonna stay on him because I'm not gonna find a better piece than this for a while, right? So all this gear is the same way. I'm gonna roll it on him, and I'm just gonna leave it on him no matter how it turns out because I'm not gonna find better gear for a while. So it doesn't really matter where it rolls, as long as it just rolls decently. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do that here. Uh, we're gonna roll. What, what? I should change this. Should I change this? Twenty percent effect resistance. Uh, do we get anything from this? This gives me fifteen, and it gives you more healing. I think I like this better than the other one. I'm gonna give you this. I'm sorry, we're losing five percent effect resistance. Um, but let's uh. Let's boost these pieces. I want to see how this one turns out. Oh my gosh, look at all this material I have. I'm still so stingy, do one at a time. We went up five effectiveness. The one stat we couldn't get, we almost got a mineral on it. Not couldn't, but I'd prefer not to get. Wow, we got a max health roll, not bad. I still would like some effect resistance out of this, so come on, let me see. We got another effective. Okay, well, this isn't too bad. If they're all concentrated here, we got a five and an eight, so we averaged out, averaged out at um, six point five. If we get most of our effectiveness concentrated here, it means we don't have to worry about effectiveness elsewhere. And as long as he gets a decent amount of it, it's not too bad, right? You don't you don't want to neglect it one hundred percent because you know a stun every so often is too bad, right? You just sit there and you stun a guy. It's like seven percent defense, not bad. Uh, let's go get one of these. Uh, one of these. I'm gonna get rid of this at some point. Just not now, because it's already too late. <sighs> I should have looked. I should have checked down there. Look at this. I could have gotten rid of this. Um, we'll give you one more of these, and then we'll. Uh... I like this here. I don't have to memorize the numbers anymore. <laughs> they just tell you. Sitting there repeating digits to myself like a fool. Okay, so let's go here. So nine, and we got another nine. So we got two max health rolls on this. This this is actually pretty phenomenal. Um, we lost a lot of on effect resistance, but whatever. So two max HP rolls, um, a middling defense roll, upper middling, because middling is six to seven, unless that's just seven. So six, no, middle is seven. Okay, middle is seven here, because low roll I think is five. So here we got a low roll. So we got mid low here. So effectiveness is whatever, but we got everything else is pretty good. Okay. Let's take a look at his stats. So like I said, this is probably not how you want to build him. I want to build him like this because I fought him in Guild War one time. And he was the most irritating thing I'd ever met in my entire life. Um, let's enhance. What's, uh, how much speed does he have? He's already really slow, 114. <laughs> He's going to be so slow. Uh, do I want to boost that one or I want to boost this one? What do I want to boost? kind of want to boost this. Let's go look at some boots that I may not be using anymore. I don't know who can use those. 
Somebody can use those. Wait, can they? What is that? What set is this? Yeah, they can. Somebody can use that. I don't think anybody's gonna use this anymore. We'll just get rid of this. So this is a total of four rolls. Yeah. So we got a mid roll here. Two max rolls and effect resistance. That's pretty. That's pretty stellar. And a minimum. Oh, we just got. Again, this is the last stat. So the attack percentage isn't too bad. Um, again, it scales his healing, so that's good. So this is all good. This is all good stuff. We're doing pretty good here. Let's give him a, a red boot here. Let's see what we get at the end. Okay, let's see what we got. Get rid of some boots. There we go. Six plus eight, so we got two mid roll, two lower, two upper middle rolls. So you know, two high rolls, not uh, max rolls, right? Two high rolls, not max rolls. That's pretty good. I like this boot. Uh, so let's look at his stats again. 16k defense, and we're about to boost this. So we'll put him up to maybe I don't know, 14k HP, something like that. Uh, we got a bunch of gear we can get rid of here. Uh, let's see. Do I need this? Oh, this is awful. Ah, no one's going to use that. Let's go see what we get. So we got one in everything. One flat, one mid-roll here, mid-roll here, and uh, more here. Um, not too bad. Let's see. I can go get more of these charms too, because I have a lot of those, um, what are those called? Those tokens or whatever, that you can just buy a bunch of these from. I don't really know what I want out of this roll here. Um, effect resistance, I guess. I looked, I called it, I, was, I, I actually called that, um, 21, 6 and 7, it's not bad. So look at his effect resistance, 123. I don't know, we're probably not gonna, I don't, yeah, I don't think he can reach 200. 200 is pretty low, if I'm honest. Uh, let's go look here. Look at some gear, this, no one's gonna use this. Oh, eh, somebody might use that. 28, def 28, uh, whatever. Uh, I should probably get rid of this. No one's gonna use that, but I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah, no one's gonna use this, let's get rid of that. Okay, so we got flat defense. Flat defense is probably the best you can, best roll you can get. Oh my gosh. That was four rolls. Three of them went into flat defense. And one of them went into defense percentage. That's almost offensively bad. But like I said, all these stats are good, so whatever. I pref yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I'd prefer in that situation. Okay, okay, is that get me to 14? Uh, let's go here. Let's kind of let's take a look at our Basar, our DJ Basar, after I finish this. This DJ Basar is such a meme, like such a meme build. Let's see. And we got one flat. So like I said, no matter where they landed, it'd be good. So like I said, 14k HP, um, 1800 defense, 170 resistance. I'm not going to get this, obviously, but with 27% here, uh, still wouldn't reach um, 200 effect resistance. And that's not including this, but I have, apparently I have a lot of this stuff. Do I really want to boost this, though? Let's go. Let's just see how this goes. We got a minimum roll on speed and a max roll on effect resistance. I like this piece so far. Uh, we got attack percentage, which isn't too bad. And uh, wow. Wow. That's a two. The first roll was a two. The sec This second roll that we just got was a one. That That is offensively bad. 
I don't even want to roll this anymore. Um, we could modify this to be something else. Turn this into, wait, who has speed? This has speed. I could modify this into like, I don't know, flat defense, I guess. 44? Yeah, it's not bad. Do I have another one? One of these? 44? Uh, do we have a, f we have effect resistance already in there. Uh, yeah, I could probably just give them this and make this, um, uh, pretty good or, or something like this, I guess. We'll give them more healing. 43, not bad. Well, actually, that's minimum, but whatever. Um, and then up here, we can roll this into something else. Uh, not the worst, uh, but not as good as I probably would have wanted him to be. Like I said, I probably around um, 200 effect resistance would have been nice. Uh, but 200 effect resistance in today's day is, is, is zero, so, you know, whatever. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be playing RTA. I just wanted to show you guys, this is going to be the build I'm taking into RTA. So if you see him pop out, this is the build he's using. Um, like I said, you can invest into defense, effect resistance, health, and all that stuff on him because he's, he doesn't scale off of anything. This doesn't do any damage and nobody cares. Uh, this is only cleanses and all that stuff. And um, this is just, it heals off of your max attack and their HP. So you know, keep that in mind. Uh, because it's going to be so slow and it's going to take forever for them to attack him, uh, having this would be pretty nice too. Uh, someone else just gets randomly healed whenever they get hurt uh, under 50. Uh, yeah, so take that as you guys will. Like I said, this is just kind of a rambly video just talking about just to make something just to get back into it. Um, I'm probably going to make the RTA video today and then just upload it tomorrow, but we'll see. Yep, till then.